They're the people who look out for us every day, the emergency services. But who looks out for them? Shocking figures have shown that one in four of our emergency service staff have considered suicide. The fire, ambulance and police forces in the North East have joined together to tackle that problem and today they've told us they believe things are improving. Our correspondent Julia Bathroom is here to tell us more. Julia. Well, the mental health charity Mind set up what they call the Blue Light Network with the region's forces last summer to try and tackle those really quite shocking figures that also showed that 91% of police officers have experienced poor mental health. Obviously, these people see extremely distressing scenes every day as part of their jobs. That isn't going to change. But the aim of the network is to break down any stigma that might be about coming forward to talk about how people are feeling. Ed Simpson had to leave the police force after 16 years after he'd battled depression for years. Neither himself nor his colleagues actually realised what was happening. I think it was that steady drip of jobs over years and years and years of dealing with all those families, dealing with all those incidents that saturate you eventually. At no point did I think, I'm unwell, I need to go get some help. I thought, you're weak, you're not a very good cop, you're a terrible father, terrible husband, terrible friend. Um, basically no one needs you and in hindsight they said yeah you were clearly not right but we didn't think for a minute you were mentally unwell because we'd never spoken about it. So since last summer 200 staff throughout the region's forces have been trained by MIND they are all volunteers, they continue in their normal day jobs, but they're trained to speak to people if they come forward to talk to them about mental health and they're trained to spot the signs of depression amongst their colleagues. This has been going on since last June, the training began, but already the forces say that they are seeing a benefit. There are lots of examples of, of people coming forward uh, and, and seeking support uh, and, and hopefully knowing it's there, but there's still a lot to be done. We've still got some, some cultural barriers to break down as an organisation and, and, and that is about people not being afraid to, to come forward for fear of any, anything at all really. Seems promising. We heard there there is a lot to be done. Is this a long-term commitment? Will the help continue? It is a long-term commitment from the forces. Mind's involvement actually ends today, but those 200 uh, mental health champions are trained. They're working in their forces now and continuing that work, passing on their training to others. The forces say it will take time to change the culture of an organisation, but they're committed to doing that and they encourage anybody to come forward if they feel they need to speak to somebody. Okay, Julia, thanks for explaining that.